Hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Kim Tobea. All things African Nana. So in today's video, oh. we are going to be talking about traveling to Kenya, what to expect. Uh, especially during this uh, pandemic, uh, there are some things that are necessary if you are traveling back to Kenya. If it's an international flight, there is ma mandatory, mandatory. mandatory quarantine, mm. travel rest restrictions and closed borders. So we're going to be talking about the protocols that have been put there to protect our country and also to protect you, as you an guys individual. as a traveler. Mm. Yeah. So we're going to be talking specifically about international travel. Yeah. So actually you need a COVID test. I have notes here so if you see me looking down I don't want to miss anything because all this information I've gotten from the embassy and also I have a friend that told me exactly. I have a friend who came into the country from from where is Abu Dhabi? Dubai. Mm, in Dubai. It's in Dubai. Yep. From the UAE to Kenya, mm. and she actually told me. Uh, shout out to Nelotic Impress. Mm. She's called Nelotic Impress on YouTube. She told me that like they have, they had to have a COVID test that they've been tested 96 hours before check. That is four or five days before. Yeah. Uh before checking like before flight mm. so yeah so it, she told me that they if you have the covid-19 test mm. the certificate eh? yeah mm. that tested is it negative yeah, yeah negative. if you test negative and they also have to check your temperature you're mm. coming into the country mm. into the country and there are some uh, how do you say it? if the is the if the temperature exceeds 37.5 eh? yeah that's the time that and sim symptoms mm -hmm. like flu Mm. That's the time you're going to be tested. And if you are positive, that's the time you're going to be taken uh, to quarantine. Yeah, forced quarantine for 14 days. Mm. Yeah, so, and also there's some protocols that are being in place. Mm. And there's a list of countries. Mm. Also, there's a list of countries identified and announced uh, from which travelers will be exempted from quarantine. Mm. So in Kenya, mm. like uh, there's some countries like Qatar, you're not like forced for uh, because even if you have the COVID-19 test negative, mm. and you come from a country that is highly r risk of COVID, mm. you have to be taken for a 14-day quarantine. But even if you are negative, eh? yeah, even if you are negative, but mm. you're coming from a country that is not listed under the Kenyan embassy. Mm. So you have like there is Canada, like if you are from Canada, I list them. Here, yeah, Canada, mm. Japan, Germany, mm -hmm. Netherlands, Qatar, United Arab Emirates, mm. Italy. These are some of the countries that are, are not forced into quarantine. Italy? Yeah. Italy is the one among the one. But they, just, they say that. Oh. <laughs> the embassy said that. Sorry, I was so just asking. I don't know. <laughs> like, the risk that the, you keep on checking also if you're traveling and you insist on traveling to Kenya. just have yeah you mm. just have to check your with your embassy mm. about the travel restrictions mm. before coming and they keep on changing every single day mm. because you know covid is unpredictable yeah. and the rules of, for travel is different yeah yeah so i wanted to say what else there was this incident that uh I saw it on the news. There's someone who was coming from Qatar, mm -hmm. uh, from a news on like local television news. She was coming from Qatar, mm -hmm. and she already had the COVID. And like all the rules, she followed all the rules. But mm -hmm. yet again, they forced her into quarantine. Mm -hmm. And you know, like, like I don't know why they forced her into quarantine because everything, her temperature was okay. Mm -hmm. She had the COVID test negative. Mm. She like she came from Qatar. Qatar is not like in the first 14 quarantine rule. Mm. So she was like, oh. and you know, in quarantine you have to pay. That's well, another thing. Let me thing. ask you: When she came to Kenya, see, maybe mm. they used that as a moment again, and the temperatures were high. That's why they forced her to quarantine. She said that the temperature was okay. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay, so, me, but I don't they know what is that, happening. Yeah. <laughs> so it should like uh, traveling during this pandemic, internationally especially, mm. it's really like no one knows, like the rules keep on changing. It's like a 50-50, it's like yeah. you're gambling, you're yes, not sure. It's like gambling. Mm -hmm. Let's emphasize this. So mm. the list of countries exempted from quarantine are... Qatar. Yeah, Qatar. UK. Canada, Italy, which mm. is surprising. And 
Namibia, a list to all of them, like there are a list of 19 countries. Mm. So yeah, always check with your embassy. I highly, highly emphasize this, highly check with your embassy before booking that flight. Even after, uh, even after like a few hours before you, you bought the flight. But remember you're supposed to have the COVID certificate. Yes. Saying that, is, that you're negative. Yeah. Mm. Because, so, you know, I think, uh, unfortunately, corona is here to stay, just mm. like HIV AIDS. Yeah, and it'll take maybe three, three years. After this, it has really affected everything, and mm. it'll take up, like, three years for things to be back to normal, or we are going to be used to the new normal. But me, I know Kenya is always a good country. We'll bounce back. Of course. <laughs> we'll bounce back. We'll bounce back better mm. and ever. So another thing that you need, the, another protocol you need is for passengers traveling out of the country, mm. they will be required to abide by the particular travel, mm -hmm. health and COVID-19 related requirements of the destination country. Mm. So always check which country you're going to. Mm. I don't know if I'm emphasizing enough. You are emphasizing enough. And they're yeah. supposed to be on that program. So we step from international Tra countries. Yeah, eh? it's a smart travel enrollment program. That's mm. the initials of step. Mm. So that you can always be alert on any update mm. regarding the travel restrictions. Mm. Checked on these things because we are mm. manifesting that we yeah. are going to travel. We are going to travel. Mm -hmm. It's so that sad is because, manifestation. Yeah, that mm. is so sad because I wanted like to travel to Tanzania. Mm. But the saddest thing is <laughs> Italy is allowed in the country. Mm. But Tanzania it's, it's, closed. Closed. it's closed. Like the borders and are closed for friends. Kenya and Tanzania. Our brothers. They are brothers. Like we're literally the same. I don't know why there's rival like maybe it's political sibling, issue. Let's sibling rivalry. Mm. Yeah. Like it's it's like we are divorced. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like people who are siblings mm -hmm. understand. Like like nations who which are neighboring we, we usually have a lot of issues yeah. together. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Let's go not go into detail because you don't know what's up. Yeah. We wanted to go to Tanzania, Uganda, you know. Because mm. at least they are neighboring and it's something imagine. that we can afford at the moment. I can imagine. And, mm. I, don't, I don't know why. So another thing is passengers arriving on flights after the curfew. Like when you arrive, you know, flights are, they don't have like curfew times because international flights, like, you we find when they are from there, they and then they, they need from I think morning because here in Kenya, when mm -hmm. people are going, yeah. so and you, re probably. and you remember Kenya, we have a curfew, curfew. from 4 a.m. to 9 p.m. 9 p.m. Mm. So imagine when your flight is landing at 10 p.m. or mm. something like that. So mm. there is a rule uh, about that. Mm. So you have to have your uh, like when you when, when you are I have to check because I, I don't want to uh, to give the wrong Propaganda. information. Mm. Yeah, Rumor. so when you are a passenger arri arriving on flights after the curfew, mm. with a valid, if you have a valid hair ticket and boarding pass, mm. shall be allowed to proceed to the hotels or or residences. Mm. So mm. you don't have to fear if you come. So they check you in hotels, eh? Yeah, when they check in, even the taxi, you know, after 9 p.m. Mm. and you're, you're found outside, mm. you're forced into quarantine. And the good so thing, our airport has... Uh, Mm. Hotels close by, yeah, true. like the Hilton. Kuna Hilton, by the way, who yeah. calls Hilton what? Yeah. yeah. So passengers evil, and then drivers also should have evidence, like uh, you should have an evidence of why you are outside the. the so you uh, need to have, a, and by evidence mm. we need, we mean by a letter or something. Yeah, yeah, from the airport to mm. drop or pick up mm. passengers. Mm. So another thing is, if you are a passenger departing on flights after the curfew with a valid air ticket and boarding pass, mm. you shall also be allowed to proceed to the departure airport. Mm. Guys, I know this thing is uh, boring, but actually I was boring. really interested to know because, mm. like, yeah, people are looking for this information and people sometimes are so tired or they don't know to go and check on the embassy, like yeah. on their government uh, embassy online, just check on the travel restriction covid-19 updates always like if you insist on traveling mm. always check on that so another thing is hair operators shall provide 
guidance material to passengers regarding application of the prevention measures on board. Mm -hmm. Another thing is also you should know that like in Kenya, you it's a mandatory to wear your mask mm -hmm. when you're in the public area and always to use sanitizers. sanitizers. Of which I see, I, I think, and I repeat, sanitizer is a scam. <laughs> so yes, you stick with wash water and in it. Yeah, soap. Soap, yeah. yeah, it's really good, but, but when, well, when but I'm not rich of water, that's the time I use, use sanitizer. sanitizer. Yeah. Mm. And another thing is, I know it's uh, very difficult, mm. but now I, I think I've mastered five months into this pandemic, I've mastered not to touch my nose. I hope I've not touched my nose. <laughs> I have not shut my nose and mouth. That's the biggest, like, even like wearing masks, guys. Kenyans. Mm. Kenyans will always be Kenyans. Ask me. Ask me <laughs> included. <laughs> the way we are wearing those masks, like the procedure of how we are wearing those masks, how we are removing, you know, you are not supposed to touch anywhere. And you're supposed even not to, to put here because of yeah. the sweat. And you but are guys, I think you've been seen in my videos how people are wearing the mask. Is Not even say people. Let's, for instance, <laughs> use me, me. The way yes. I put it. Use me as an example. I'm a living example. <laughs> You're not even supposed to reuse the mask. <laughs> but you know yourself. You're okay to go I'm there. not calling anyone. <laughs> <laughs> and by the way, for your information, we are waiting for the, you also, the president to announce updates on the COVID yeah, yeah. thing. He was supposed mm -hmm. to announce it, I think, on Friday or something, mm -hmm. but now he's going to announce it on Tuesday. Yeah. Actually, our biggest trip ever, like, can, can we even tell tell it yes, or we are going it. to jinx it? No. We were supposed to go, like, for, uh, during the summer vacation, we were supposed to go to Europe, guys. We were supposed to be in Europe, <laughs> but now we are in the village. <laughs> Let's manifest maybe someone will sponsor us to take us to Mombasa for two days. At least we've shown them village life when they need to see us. You know, in the village, side. there's nothing more you can do. So be expecting. Like, guys, I need your advice. Mm. Tell me, like, which videos you want to see in the see, village. See, I've, I've seen in your comment section, eh? <laughs> I saw someone telling you that we go to Kisi. Kisi town, we vlog about it, and we go to a hotel called Mwali Musako Hotel. I know that hotel, by the way, they have good food. I've gone to Mwalimu, I've gone to Kampia, Suju, whatever, and I've gone to Ufanisi Resorts. Me, I'm scared, though. To tell you the truth, I'm scared. I'm scared with this pandemic. I'm more of a sissy about this <coughs> pandemic. I'm more like, I, I, I don't know, I, like, I, I don't want to meet people because of this COVID, but we'll see what we'll do. Any other suggestions? Uh, by the way, we are near to Kisumu. Let's manifest mm. so that Kisumu is that just three hours drive. Mm. We'll go to Kisumu City. Kisumu City. We'll go to the oh, Lake so Victoria. We are coming back. Oh. Oh, guys, actually I've noticed the way we've, like, our hygiene has been really Top to notch. Pass. I have no, like, for the five months, during all this pandemic, it's mm. five months. Mm. From March 13th, I will yes. never forget. I'll never forget that also. That first day. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I have no flu, no. I have no malaria, I have no... Is common, it to cholera? Co yeah, Is yes. it pendu pendu iso? Yeah. Yeah. And also another thing is, when you're coming to Kenya, always check your clothing too. Mm. Like, you no, know, Kenya is a Africa, it's a cultural... It's an Africa country, mm -hmm. we're more cultural, so like decency, like always Google the place you are going, yeah. You know city center like Nairobi and Mombasa mm. don't have a problem, but when mm. you go to the village, village areas like here, you yes. can notice that we are very modest mm. in whatever we are wearing. Yeah, we need to be true. modest. Yeah. Mm. I think we've touched on the major things that you need to have. Especially, I'm going to repeat myself, you need to have a COVID-19 test that is negative during 96 that, you hours. Because you yes, know you can the be certificate, yes. Mm. Yes, yes. Especially, of course, you have to have the certificate. I don't know how it's called. It's called the COVID-19 test certificate. Yes, that's what they call them. But yeah. unfortunately, here, we are paying. Yes, that's the another thing I wanted to say. Oh, my God. I don't know about your country or you're watching from. Uh, but they comment down below where you are watching for uh, from. I always tell people 
who insists for me to talk in Kiswahili and I always tell them I cannot talk. I will be so happy if I can talk in Kiswahili alone, but I can't talk in Kiswahili because I have all of you K-Tribe. K-Tribe is my subscribers. Mm. I have K-Tribe from all over the world and at least English is more of a universal language. Mm. So I need to talk the little English that I know so that I can communicate to you guys. Mm. So yeah, like comment down below where you come from. Mm. So yeah, here in Kenya, and they tell us that they pay. Yeah, tell us if you pay for getting your COVID tests with this crisis, economic Imagine. crisis. Because here we are mm. paying; it's five thousand Kenyan shillings. That's like fifty dollars mm. in a public hospital, mm. and ten thousand Kenyan shillings. That's one hundred dollars mm. in a private hospital. Mm. With this crisis, with this getting crisis, even a thousand to eat. I feel it's like this is mm. a scam. Like, why are we paying tax taxes? Mm. This is the reason why we pay government taxes for emergencies like this. But let's not go they deeper. They also say, mm. it, mm. uh huh, uh huh, say. Let's not go deeper, deeper. But it's just a scam to paying ten thousand, a hundred dollars. I can touch you, and poor. <laughs> yeah, for me, I feel like uh, like. Uh, during this pandemic, it has really showed that was that thing you say mm. one for man, for one man for man for himself and God for us all. I feel that's uh, how the government is not taking care of us, and actually, maybe this is why Africa has not reported. Like, and that's we don't know the dead. real, mm. the real, like the real situation in numbers of mm. people who have affected with COVID mm. because we are not testing ourselves. Mm because of the financial rest restraining restraining and that's why you'll find people are complaining that landlords are not doing waiver maybe they're not doing waiver because even them themselves have other issues to attend to in terms of financial yeah to, they need to pay their own i'm not like city or my landlords but, but let's say the truth mm -hmm. the truth must be said out there <laughs> and another thing i wanted to it's off the topic i'm going to address issues of my sinusitis condition Mm -hmm. eh? That time we were there in the forest. You know, it, it's like it eco, eco moody. It yeah. has mood. Like today, you see, I'm not snorting all the time. It really, at a me, we're in a new thing. See, at you, in a new thing. In a new thing, it's an asukupenda kuangu. So, if you know, you know the solution of this problem of mine. Usinambe kwa jua jua ni mejaribu imekata. I've tried antihistamine, I've tried cetrizine. But maybe you should little. try more natural thing. With, I, but... Even if you try humidifier. Just donate for me a bay humidifier. That's even the problem. You can't you can't even go to surgery because you've looked into surgery. I went to a specialist. No, like, it's no, there's no it's like, solution. They told me there's it's only 70%. Yeah. It will not prevent me from sneezing, blockage, because yeah. sometimes you I just have blockage here. It. My ears, my yeah. head, my chest normally is congested. So before you comment uh, something... Something negative or something like your observation. Try to know the cause mm. before, like, just. I don't mean, my was spending funny evil, yeah. by the way. I saw your comments and I was really hurt. Let me just say the truth. Yeah. So, guys, mm. don't forget we are in the village still. We are in Bonya. Someone told me, like, I should just. Bonya Koma is a village. clan, but yeah. we are in Nyamanagu village. And, right guys, there. I've seen so much love from my African American, from mm. Kenyan in the diaspora. Mm. Guys, my mom has said that you can, like, she can host you. She likes, uh, she she likes, likes visitors. visitors. <laughs> so, we're going to be Airbnb being our farm home mm -hmm. for you guys to stay when you come and i'll be their cook yes and we'll be cooking we'll yeah. be doing everything we'll take we'll taking to you to everything village life mm. for just a price of ten dollars our video is coming soon with all the details it's gonna be like an airbnb mm. so yeah guys thank you so much and thank you for all the love you've been showing on my village life mm. on my rural lives if you still aren't up to date with my village farm life series there's a series there's a playlist click on it uh, i think it will be which side i don't know mm. there's some um, nice things i've put there mm. subscribe to me also subscribe to Two? my sister mm. she's almost 3000 subscribers or you're already 3000 i'm almost i'm um i've i've backyard with 115 yeah so to get to 3000 and thank you for the love and your yeah. support 